My name is Demet Le, I'm Vice President of Product Management at Oracle. I am part of the engineering orga organization. My role is to uh, define the product roadmap as well as evangelize the product as we're doing today. I wanted to talk a little bit about our brand new release, Oracle SOS Suite 12C, which is a very exciting release with a lot of new features. So let's talk a little bit about the drivers behind that release. When we started designing the product, we thought about two things. One, industry trends. These are things that CIOs need to embrace in order to be able to innovate and differentiate moving forward. And on the other hand, we also had user feedback. We, at this point in time, we've got thousands and thousands of customers using Oracle SOS with 11G around the world. And this community gave us a lot of tremendous feedback on the product and how we can make it better moving forward. Let's start with looking at industry trends. Uh, three things are top of mind for CIOs today. Mobile, cloud, and Internet of Things. Uh, let's start with mobile. 90% of CIOs will be deploying new mobile applications in 2014. That is 90%. So as you can imagine, mobile is at the top of everybody's agenda today. And having a strong integration backbone is very, very important to support a sustainable growth of mobile uh, strategies. Mobile should really just be one channel in a multi-channel strategy. It's very important to have a, a cohesive integration backbone to support that. Uh, so we already had support for REST in Source with 11G, but these um, mobile frameworks require a lot of REST, but also JSON. So what we did is that we did a lot of support in the tooling for JSON in 12C. We're talking about um, uh, wizards to, to, to create new uh, JSON objects. We're talking about automated conversions from XML to REST, as well as new REST bindings. So basically a strong, stronger support for REST and JSON in Source Suite 12C. That's one in order to support the adoption of mobile uh, throughout the enterprise. We also have a great feature in order to, uh, to support uh, mobile uh, interaction, and that is uh, we have a built-in cache in, in service bus. What that gives you is that it really uh, improves the latency of these mobile applications. Because now, instead of having to go back to the backend applications all the time, let's say, to, to retrieve a customer profile, we can actually serve that information right from memory. And, and as you know, mobile users are, are very impatient. A one second delay is, is always too long. That might be enough to, to, um, for them to give up on the mobile application. So latency is very, very important. And having that in-memory cache uh, in front of your backend systems is really a key to, to improve your uh, mobile adoption. So that's on the mobile side. Now, the other thing that is taking the industry by, by storm is cloud. On the clou cloud side, uh, cloud adoption has been rising at a very fast clip. Line of business owners um, go out and, and adopt a new cloud applications, typically based on, on, on usability. Now, what that leaves IT department with is the task of integrating these cloud applications that reside outside of the company, outside of the firewall, with the rest of the enterprise systems that reside on-prem. What we did in 12C is that we added a lot of uh, cloud adapters. Pre-built cloud adapters are going to make that task much easier. Basically, uh, the goal is to reduce the distance between these cloud applications and your on-prem systems. Uh, these Cloud adapters include uh, graphical wizards to basically connect to the systems, capture your credentials, store them in a secure fashion, and then show you in a very graphical and very intuitive way all the objects you have, and you have access to. So the goal is really to make these cloud applications look like an on-prem application, as easy to integrate as, a, as with an on-prem application. And in the end, you and user should not see where an application reside. For them, it's transparent. Whether it's on-prem, whether it's on the cloud, it should be all transparent, it should be all integrated on the same platform. You do not want to have to integrate platforms on top of having to integrate applications. So that's for the cloud part. Now, the last uh, industry trend I want to talk about is the Internet of Things. Internet of Things is basically about all these new devices 
that are emerging all over the place, all these always connected devices. We're talking about things like temperature sensors. We're talking about GPS enabled uh, phones. So all these devices need to contribute to your enterprise uh, systems and processes. But the problem with this is that these devices tend to generate information at a very, very fast rate. Uh, this is really a sea of data that your backend systems would not even know what to do with. We're talking about thousands and thousands of messages every second. We're talking about potentially thousands of devices uh, deployed. So you do not want to simply forward that information to enterprise systems. What you want to do is extract interesting information and interesting patterns out of this and then uh, transfer that to enterprise systems. Let's say, for instance, when you detect a specific rise in temperature uh, in a data center, you want to automatically generate a, a ticket, support ticket, in your, in your backend systems, right? But you don't want to capture each and every temperature read. You do not care about this. So for that, uh, what you want is a product that we called Oracle Event Processing that is going to be basically extracting all these patterns and all this relevant information, very valuable information, and then convert them into actions on the back end by providing this information to, to the Oracle SOA suite. So this is how we're going to be tackling Internet of Things. This is how we're going to basically integrate these devices within enterprise systems. So three things. We talked about mobile, how we've been uh, improving the, the features in the SOA suite to better support REST and JSON. Cloud, through our cloud adapter strategy and also Internet of Things with Oracle even processing to bridge the gap between your devices and your enterprise systems.